Childhood trauma affects your physical and mental health throughout the rest of your life. In the Philippines, on average, life expectancy is about 67 years old. In Payatas, partly because of childhood trauma, we estimate it's around 48. When we first started working in Payatas in 2011, one of the more challenging aspects was the behavior. Every single week there were fights. We could measure progress based on how many fights there were that week. And dami namin sobra. As in, di na nga kaya ni Coach Roy eh. Nagkukumpulan, tapos pag may na nag-aaway, pinapauwi na lang ni Coach Roy. Babalik na lang siya sa susunod na training. It was frustrating at first, but then we found out why. Dati hindi ko alam ba't nag-aaway-aaway. Siguro kasi parang yun yung pinaprotektahan namin yung sarili na eh. Parang self-defense namin sa mga tao na ano, handang manakit sa amin, yun know. We stumbled upon some research, actually a TED talk first, about adverse childhood experiences or ACEs. Basically, it's counting the trauma you experience as a child and it followed the damage that does to your physical and mental health. There's 10 questions to determine your ACE score. Have you experienced this type of abuse or neglect, a parent dying or in jail, similar things. There's a lot to it, but the short version is anyone who experienced four or more ACEs was two to three times more likely to have heart disease, diabetes, lung problems, and so on. It wasn't just physical, they were also four times more likely to be depressed, 16 times more likely to attempt suicide. Dati akala ko ano, ako lang may problema. Nung nagsalta ko ng football, ay, ito ko nalaman yung mga ibang bata may problema rin pa sa pamilya. Dalang na pag lumaki ka sa ano, sa lugar na la, karamihan sa mga tao nag-aaway-away. So parang pag ikaw, pag nakarinig ka ng away, natitrigger ka or pag may nangbubuli sa'yo, yun. so matitrigger ka agad na Parang yung memory mo, babalit dun sa kanya. Kanya, yung nanay, tatay mo, nag-aaway ka In Dr. Feliti's original study, one in eight reported a score of four or more childhood traumas. In Payatas, we surveyed 100 of our kids, and seven of eight reported the same score, four or more. Over half of our kids have experienced six or more types of trauma. That's severe childhood trauma. The effect of that on your body and mind takes almost 20 years off your life expectancy. Hindi ko naman naiisip dati na nai-stress ako. Or hindi ko naiisip na stress ba to? Ganun. Parang yung feeling mo lang na gusto mo nang lumayo doon. Ganun. Those behaviors, those thoughts, that feeling of being on edge all the time, seeing everything as a threat, and being so easily triggered, we came to understand are actually coping mechanisms, survival mechanisms, for a person trying to deal with the pain of the past. They had no other way of coping. We stop seeing the person as the problem. The problem isn't you, it's what happened to you. Please be kakalabanin namin yung super bad. Alam namin magiging mahirap yung game, pero gagawin namin yung best namin para tapatan sila.
Enjoy nyo yung resulta, pero mas mabuti, nag-effort kayo talaga. May konting-konting gusto natin mag-improve sa position, sa pwesto, sa ganun. Pero enjoy nyo yung result, enjoy nyo yung feeling, enjoy nyo na alam nyo, binigay nyo yung best nyo. Ito, one, two, three, payatas. One, two, three! Payatas! Well done, girls. It's always nice to win a game of football, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not the point. What we're doing with our sports, our youth center, our cafe, it's all designed to reverse the damage, the impact of childhood trauma. At first, it all sounds like bad news, but there is good news. We can reverse this, we can heal it, and this is how. Next on Fair Play TV. Childhood trauma activates the stress response constantly. The stress response is not designed to be on all the time. The good news is we can reverse childhood trauma. Your past doesn't have to be your future. Subscribe to Tara na Papapicture